All right, more parts. Okay, the primary cover. Another primary cover. And there's a, another primary cover. So, okay, so we got primary cover. This one is, looks just like a cam cover I have. It's like a pear. Okay, so these are key model primary covers. So these look like they came off the same bike, except this is Sportster, so this is key model. 52A, 52, 52A, so 52 is definitely K model, 52A could be a KH or it could be a K model, there's something different about the covers but I'm not sure what the difference is, I would guess it's something about the motor mount, or I mean not the motor mount, the engine sprocket would be the difference. Now just by looking at these, see how deep this one is right here? And see how this one's more straight and flat and not as high up right here? This has about an inch of offset. This has got a good couple inches here. So I would denote this being a KH. And this one here is also a little one also, so this would be KH also. So what they did was they have a different the motor sprocket. The KMLs had a 32 sprocket, and then the blader bikes went to a little 34 2 sprocket. They also had a compensator that was a lot wider sticking out on the later bike, the later crank. So this is definitely camo, and these are definitely got the clearance for the big sprocket, so I'm going to guess these are cage. So that's your difference. But that cover should still be not a camo, but a Sportster. <laughs> now this one here is a really nice one because it has the sand casted finish all over it, like it's supposed to be. It just has the polished bead right along in here. So this is a really nice looking one. Pretty low mileage would be my guess. It's not dinged up, so it's correct. It wasn't scratched up too much until they packed it in all these other parts and kind of screwed up a little bit. So this is really nice. They get broken through here. They get they break from people falling down. They crack into here and they have to be welded up. They also get all scratched up in here in the brake the clutch basket gets all screwed up or when you fall down again it'll do the same problem this one looks really really nice the brake switch goes back here so you have a sort of hole here so this has provision for a level plug but it's never been put in it's held on with three screws one two and a big long one right here with just like six inches long this screw so that's a really really nice cover Okay, now these are the KH cover. Now this one here has a show polish finish on it. See, it doesn't look like this. Also, you see the difference in height through here versus this one. So, see how tall that is, and see. So once again, it's short here, but see it's taller here. See how short this one is. See how tall this one is. The hump's a lot bigger, also, because this whole surface here is taller than this one. This is more flat, and this one drops down more even. So another denote there. Also, they have the level plug right here. So this one here had a something over here, but it was never drilled. So I'm not sure what that was for. They didn't have a level plug. Put oil in it and forget it. Whatever it didn't want, it leaked out. This has a big notch in here for the brake assembly back here. This one here didn't have that. Um, a little bit different. Same brake switch though. But, uh, something going on back there. The foot peg is here, so I'm not sure why they did that. So this one here is a uh, black polish. It's nice. I'm not a big fan of polishing. It's not chrome because it'd be all chrome in here if it was chromed. 
And this cover here, once again, is a nice cover. It's not broken or screwed up or anything. It looks pretty nice. <coughs> so this is a good one. <coughs> this one over here, this one's been chromed. Looks like crap. And my guess is it was mounted onto a Sportster. You can see I was hitting and the chain got loose from sitting on it a little bit. It's not broken though, which is nice. And it has the same, everything else just like this other one. So the correct sports one would have Sportster written across this whole face here. And this wasn't like this, it was more rounded like this on both sides. And it had Sportster written across here and script all the way across. So my guess is they had this on a, on a Sportster instead of a nice one, and it was with, it came off the same bike. Because <clears throat> these look vaguely familiar here, the same type finish. <laughs> and they would be all interchangeable because it takes the same gasket, same everything. And the clutch is pretty much all the same. The clutch is a little bit taller on the Sportster. So I thought these had to be a little bit different, but this has probably got the taller surface through here. And it's already got a little bit more clearance up here for bigger sprockets, so it probably fits. I haven't actually tried doing that, but it looks like it probably would fit. So once again, you got three bolts that hold it on. You have roll pins that go right in here to keep it centered on the case. So we got a couple of roll pins they put on these things. That's all they did. So this one here, once again, looks, looks like crap, but it's not broken. It's in nice condition. So, there you go. so these two here are the same. And then we got the nice one over here for your K-Model. So, or if you're going to use a solid sprocket with no, no compensator on it, it's also that one. But this will probably hit on a 34 tooth, I bet. So, probably only going to work with a 32 sprocket. That'll definitely clear everything else. So, there you go. Three nice covers.